Hi, it's Lisa Walker, and today we're just going to go over talking a little bit about um, a per how to set your permalink, and also um, IDs for your pages. Um, and um, I'll explain to you as I go um, why it's important to know how to check out the IDs. Um, now, if you've got an Empower Network blog, your permalinks could possibly already be set. Now, what I'm talking about is if you go down here to Settings and then go down to Permalinks, Usually when you first set up a blog, it automatically defaults up to this um, the top setting here, the common setting default, which means that it's going to have your website address and then it's going to have your ID number. See where it says, for example, P equals 123. Um, and we want it to look a little bit nicer than that when people click on a post or a page that it actually has at the top. Um, it actually says uh, perhaps your category or your post name, um, the title of your post, that type of thing. So basically we can come down and we can click on custom structure and then we can type in how we want it to appear. So we want it to say our website name slash our category um, and our post name. So basically if you just look at what I've done here and it's just like a basically a slash with a percentage mark category with another percentage slash another, um, and then another percentage slash post name percentage. Now, if you just want your um, your blogs uh, to, to just have the post name, you don't have to put category. So I'll go over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So say if I go to uh, one of my posts here, you'll see instead of saying ID at the top here, it's got empoweredteamleaders.com slash blog, because that's the category this post is under, slash empower network money and success, which is the name of my title here. So basically um, you can just have it, um, empowered, I could just have it empoweredteamleaders.com slash empower network money and success. So it just depends if you want that category to show up as well. So it makes it a little bit more user friendly um, and it looks, makes the links look a lot, lot nicer and it's also good if you're targeting keywords as well to have uh, those keywords in the URL of your, um, your, your post. So basically um, the keyword I may have on this post um, could be, oh actually let me have a look at it, it's Empower, Empower Network Money I think, or it's either Empower Network or Empower Network Money. So you want to have those words, keywords up in your um, URL here as well. So basically that's all you need to do is you just need to go over here to Custom Structure, type that in and then just click Save Changes. So anyway, now the reason why it's important to know how to access your ID numbers is because once you've changed your custom structure to this, you're not going to see your ID numbers up the top anymore when you view um, any of your pages. So you're not going to really know what ID number is assigned to what page. Um, and the reason why this is actually important is because, for example, if I go here to my home page here, um, I've actually um, got some pages that I'm assigning under this category here. Now, every time I make a new page, it automatically defaults to adding that page to this list of pages, right? Now, I don't want all these pages to be here because it's just going to get longer and longer and longer, and my um, my footer down here is just going to get deeper and deeper. I only want to have a few specific um, pages that I want um, the customers to see, and then the other ones are going to be hidden in um, between the categories and things up here as well. So basically, how do I get rid of these ones just here? Well, basically, these service pages just here at the bottom have been created with, uh, through a widget on the side, um, uh, in the back office of your WordPress. And now I need, and then you, what you do is you assign what ID numbers you want to show on the front page in this widget. And I only want right down to say team bonus. And then these last three new add-ons, I don't want to appear on the front page. So basically what I need to do is I need to find out the IDs of these three pages. And how am I going to do that? So basically what I do is I come over here to the back office. I go down here to settings, permalink settings. And then what I want to do is I just want to copy and paste, um, I just want to copy and paste this category postmark, postmark uh, post name, sorry, so that I can actually put this back in later. Um, so I'll just copy this, right click. Now I want to go back and I want to change my structure to default. Now this is only just temporarily while I check out the ID names of my, my pages. So I'll change it to, to default, which means it's going to show me the IDs when I click on that page. And I'm just going to click Save Changes. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to come along and I want to find those pages that I'm looking for to find the IDs. So basically I'll go through my pages that I'm looking for and I've actually already gone through and written all these down, but I'll find one just to show you. This is one of the ones I want to remove from my service page at the bottom. So I'm just going to go down here, I'm going to click on view and that will just give me um, a view of the post. And you'll see up here, along the top here, it's got page ID equals 716. So this is the ID number I need to write down. So basically you want to go through, find the pages of the IDs that you need and write them down on a piece of paper. And then go back. So once I've got those, I've already got the three IDs for those now. And I want to go back to my widgets. So I go down to Appearance Widgets. And I need to go to these service pages. So along here, the one that I'm wanting to look at now, which is under Pages here, I want to go is in my footer. So here we go, Pages. So I drop down the box here. And now it says here at the bottom, I've got Pages, sort by Page ID, and exclude these numbers of pages. So now what I want to do is I've found those three that I don't want to appear. So I basically go along and I'm going to um, add these three pages. Now you just separate the pages with a comma. So I'm going to put in 716, comma, 778, comma, 764. Okay, so those ones, and then I just need want to save that. And then I want to go back to my front page and make sure that those have been taken off. Refresh the page, and you'll see now those three pages are gone. And my uh, footer isn't as deep, it's still getting a little bit deep. I, you know, I don't really want to probably stick, I probably shouldn't go keep to any more than say four or five levels down here. Um, I probably could go back into these settings and actually take some of this um, padding away, some of the spacing if I want it to be a little bit more narrow. But I'm not going to worry about it too much at this stage. Now the other thing is, is if I go into a blog post, and I've got a sidebar here. Um, I've also got a whole heap of pages here listed that are also just a quick um, a quick add-on that, that people can um, come along and just click on those pages to view what I've got rather than having to go through all the menus up here. So I have to make a decision whether I want those pages um, you know, that I've just added on if I want them on this list too because this list is just going to keep getting longer and longer and longer. Uh, and maybe I only want to have some important pages showing on here as well, or I can choose to leave them. So basically what I would do for here is I'd go back into my widgets again, and I'd come up to the sidebar at the top here, and I've got pages here. And I've done the same thing, sort by page ID, and then exclude which ones I want to exclude. Now in this case, I'm excluding the opposite of the ones that I've actually got on the bottom here. So I actually want all, the, my, all my pages to be on here for now, um, so I'm not going to take those other ones off, um, but I want to exclude these main pages here, because these pages are going to be at the bottom of my footer, and I don't really want the contact and the login and uh, that type of thing to be on these here, because what I've actually done on this website, is I've actually done quite a few posts uh, using pages, and the reason why I've done that is because there are a lot of... Um, some of them are things for my team that I don't really want necessarily people commenting on or I don't necessarily, I know I'm not going to be, um, it's going to be like a static page that I know um, I might be able to update but I don't, it's going to always stay there. Um, so for example, I've got like a training series of that type of thing and some other videos. Um, so basically they're pages that I just want to um, leave on here. And what I've actually done is you can't normally connect a page to um, a category up here. It doesn't usually allow you. You can usually just attach a post. So what I've had to do is I've actually gone and I've actually got a plugin uh, that actually allows me to connect my pages um, to the categories. So when I actually do a page, say for example, um, this one here, say if I go edit this one, um, you'll see it's come up here with a box of what category I want that page to be under. Now, if I hadn't installed this plugin, this box would not appear, and there'd be nowhere for me to um, uh, choose a category. Um, I wouldn't be able to attach the, the page to that category. 
So basically, um, I would have to do it maybe as a custom link or something like that. So what I want to do is, because I want to have a few pages underneath one another up in the top menu, see if we go head to here to get started under tutorials, these are all pages. And the reason I've managed to connect them all to this menu of post categories is because I've got this plugin. So basically, uh, if we go back to plugins, I'll just have a look and see what if I can find which plugin it was that I've used. Um, I think it's this one here, Ninja Pages. Yeah, a simple plugin that allows the user to assign categories and tags to pages. This is a really good plugin. I find it really, really good. It's called Ninja Pages Categories and Tags. Um, you won't be able to install a, plug a plugin on your Empower site, um, but you can if you have your own WordPress website, if you've got another website out there. So basically all you do to install a plugin is just go to Add New, and then you'll just search that Ninja Pages. Um, so say, for example, if I go and do that, and type in Ninja Pages, and then search plugins, Here you go, it comes up first straight away. So you just need to type in Ninja Pages, comes up Ninja Page Categories and Tags, four stars. Um, and all you do is simply, um, I've already got it installed, you just simply click Install. And then once it's installed, you just go and activate that plugin. Um, I've actually got a special video for my team me members um, on the website that um, shows you all about how to do um, plugins and how to find them, how to install them. Um, and so if you're, if you're one of my uh, members of my team, um, you'll be lucky enough to have the team bonuses um, where I've got a whole heap of videos um, here on this site. Um, two lots of training series actually that are all about um, how to master WordPress um, and they're only for members only. So um, if you decide to join my team, you'll get access to all these free videos, um, pretty much teaching you most of what you need to know on WordPress So um, and setting up your own uh, site, hosting your own site, and also how to set up your own domain name and everything. So um, join my team and you'll get those bonuses as well. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about um, the page IDs and the permalinks. So go ahead, change your permalinks if you haven't already, um, and start playing around with some of these um, page IDs and get a feel for how it's all done. And it's really, really easy. Once you get into the swing of it, you'll just find it You'll do it without even thinking every time you need to um, add another page. So thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye.